name is Miranda and as the title suggests today, I am here to give you some of my best, we could say, or just some of my impersonations of famous YouTubers. Now, two caveats to this before I get started. One, I am not a professional impersonator by any means, nor do I claim to be one. Thus, you're probably going to watch some of these and be like, Miranda, what are you thinking? And I'm going to be like, I know, but I just wanted to try something new. So let's go on this journey together, ladies and gentlemen, and just know that I truly tried my best and put a lot of effort into these, even if it might not seem like it. <laughs> Second, and probably more importantly, these are, of course, impersonations. Does not mean I'm making fun of any of these YouTubers. I really, really like four out of five of these YouTubers that I impersonated, and I like the other ones. So this is by no means in any way making fun of them. This is just something that I thought would be fun to do. I just thought it would be fun to try it for myself. So without any more rambling, let's get on to the impersonations. That was also not an impersonation, if you were wondering. That was just me doing a weird accent. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Grace Helbig. If you didn't know that, now you know and your life's different now. Today, we're going to be reviewing the looks from the Billboard Music Awards, which, yes, it is still a thing, and it's kind of like if the Grammys had a cooler, younger, rock-punk sister who wasn't afraid to wear leather and latex. Camila Cabello, Caballo, Camila, Caba I don't know how to say your name. Well, don't you look like a flapper's girl from the 1920s who snuck out because her dad said she can't ride horses anymore if she doesn't grow up and marry a man, and she just said, Dad, I just want to be a flapper girl and ride my horse. Taylor Swift, oh my goodness. This looks like... You just walk into a store, you see three dresses you like, and they ask you which one, and you say all of them. And they say, oh, you want all three dresses? And you say, no, put them all together and make them one. And it's just, it, it works. Cute! Nick Jonas, well, don't you look like a fancy Applebee's waiter who's gonna bring me my $2 martini if I wink at him and offer him a good tip. Good for you, Nick Jonas. J-Lo, more like J-Leather with all that, that red leather she has going on. I feel like this is like a remake of Anaconda, which is a movie that she was, she was in. Cute! Shawn Mendes! Oh, well, don't you look just so adorable and dapper! Shawn had a new song come out called In My Blood, and let me just say, it is not in my blood to hate this outfit. BTS, which is a K-pop band that has been making the rounds around here, they look so cute. Like, you know, they all were showing up to the same event, but they called to make sure they weren't coordinating too much, and they just wanted to make sure that no one's outfit looked the same, but they all had the same vibe going, that this is like a school dance and not one of the important ones, so cute! Ashley Simpson has a very strategic flower over her delicate parts, and I am impressed. She's got some sexy peekaboo cutouts, but really it's just all your attention is drawn to that, that main flower, so. What's up everybody? It's your girl Liza coming at you with another video. Today we're here to work on how to make our brows grow into the fabulous people we know they are destined to be. And then Queen Elsa said let it go and her brows grew into the most beautiful brows anyone in the town of Arendelle had ever seen. The end. Good night my brows. I love you. So step one you're gonna want to get your makeup kit out. Darn it! No, not my socks. I forgot my makeup brush. Ugh, how am I supposed to do my eyebrows now and make them look all beautiful and like the blossoming teenagers they are if I don't have my makeup brush? Ah, oh, screw it. No! Trust me, when I get done showing you how I do my brows, these brows are gonna be on fire. No, it's just a metaphor. So there you go, just follow these few simple steps and you'll get these beautiful eyebrows too. I'll see you next Wednesday for a new video. Okay, bye! What's up guys, today I have my animal keeper friend here again and we're gonna play a little prank on Todd, see if we can get him to lie down and meet our new friend. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Why not? Because it's never anything good. I got you MMA tickets. That was one time! David, what is it? What is it? David! It's MMA tickets. It's not MMA tickets! Alright, take the blindfold off. 
that's it for today's vlog. Thanks for watching, Dylan. Make sure to subscribe and like down below. Anything else to add, guys? Scott, what are you doing? I was trying to see if I could get the snake mad enough to bite me, but it didn't work. So it didn't bite you? No, it did, but I thought it would kill me, so now I'm just mad. Today we're going to have you react to a new meme that's been going around the internet, typically called the So Captain America meme. Oh yeah, I think I saw this meme on Twitter, but I wasn't sure what it was from. Oh my gosh, the friends, I love it. So you got your arm glued to a chair. <laughs> so you heard Yanni instead of Laura, oh my gosh, it's a meme in a meme. Somebody once told me the world is good. That's a good one. Oh my gosh. Today we're going to have you react to the debate on whether democracy is dying in America. Oh, I, I thought this was going to be another try not to laugh challenge. Today the Try Guys are here to try makeup. Specifically lipstick because this is, this is all we can have our nice BuzzFeed co-workers lend to us. I mean, honestly, I don't even think I need makeup. Have you seen this face? This face woke up like this without any makeup. This is just gonna enhance perfection, if anything. You know, I think I'm actually gonna be pretty good at applying makeup because I've seen my wife apply her makeup for years and years and she always does it so wonderfully. I don't know what I'm doing and frankly, I'm scared it's gonna make me look even more like a baby doll than before. You know, I feel like I could do this. I want to make my sister and my mother proud of me. And I really want to show them what I've learned from them in all those years I watched them do their makeup. I think this color would look great on my wife. She usually does reds when it's date night, which we have every Wednesday. You know, the thing I hate about lipsticks is they're never sharp enough to stab someone with. I gotta show my wife what I look like with this lipstick on after. Let me, let me grab my phone actually to go call my wife. I'll be right back. Keith, you have to try the makeup on. No, I don't need it! <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I nailed it. And I was worried it was gonna make me look more like a baby doll, but I think it just makes me look sexy. And there you have it. That is all I have for you today. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also subscribe to my channel down below to be told to make all sorts of new videos. And I will see you next time, not with impersonations because we, we moved on from that, but with something else. So bye for now.